Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sean here. So today, uh, let's take a look at this 149 uh, max points on the line. Uh, this one got a lot of downloads. I don't know why. Maybe it's because some the edge cases. Maybe. Okay. Okay. So given like n points on a 2D plane, find the maximum number of points that lie on the same straight line. Okay. So for example, the example one here, right? So we have two points, uh, we have three points, one, one, two, two, and three, three, right? So basically these three can form, they're on the same line. That's why the uh, the answer is, is three here. And the example two here, right? So they, but we have like six points on the plane here. So we have, a, we have two, so these three can form a line. And this four can also form a line, so which which means uh, this the uh, the answer is four for the for this example here. Okay, cool. So, I mean, so this one is it's like I think I have a uh, talk about a similar like geometry problem in one of the lead in one of the weekly contest problem. Basically, you know, for this kind of problem, especially for the, if you want to uh, check the the relative positions between different points. We just need to calculate the uh, the angles, right? The angles between between the current point and all the other points. Okay, so so that in so that I mean, as long as the uh, those those two pairs have the same angles, then we know okay they are definitely on will be on the same line. So for example, for this problem, right? So let's say basically we try to use all the ang we try to use all the the points as a base point. And then we'll be calculating the uh, the relative angles, right? Uh, with this one, with 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 the current point as 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 a starting point, and then we try to calculate the angles comparing with this with this uh, point. For example, if we wanna compare the point, uh, calculate the angles with uh, with this point. So the point, the angles for this is the the angle, right? So it's gonna it's thirty it's forty five degree right, and this one is also a forty five degree. So so now the problem is just come down to uh, how can we calculate the uh, the angles right between those two uh, between two points, you know I think I I have a uh, briefly talk about the uh, how to calculate the angles, uh, and given two points or given two vectors right so, and. I'm going to have like an angle P1, P2, right? I mean, I think in my in, in that videos, you know, uh, we use the uh, the math dot uh, a a tangent two, right? So we have a y difference, right? And then the x difference, right? And then after that, we do uh, we divide it by by the math of pi, and then we uh, we multiply by the 180, right? That's how we uh, calculate the the uh, the angles given two vectors, but for this problem, you know, uh, for this thing, for this question, there is there's a problem. If you if you want to use this one here, uh, I will show you guys later. You know what? Let's try to use this one first. Okay, Let, let's try to stick with the original uh, original get angles uh, approach, right? So basically, you know, we have a so the y difference, right? Y diff is what is a p two dot one minus p1 dot 1 right so the x diff is, is this right p p2 dot 0 minus p1 dot 0 okay so and the angles is like this we have angles right angles so for those who still don't know why how how we calculate the, the angles by using this like a fu uh, functions right i mean you can you can search uh, my previous videos. I, I uploaded a video re regarding how can we calculate the angles, okay, given these two points. So, and if angles smaller than 360, right, and then we just do a plus 360, okay. So that's how we uh, calculate the angles here, and then we and then we return the uh, the angle, okay. So with this helper functions, now the the only thing left is like this, right? So Basically, we just need to uh, try each of, of the points as a base point, and then we calculate all the, the angles with that, uh, comparing that 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 
uh, with that base angle, and then we just uh, um, count count the maximum points with the same angle, right? So the pretty straightforward. So and we're still gonna have like the other points here, right? So I'm going to have four i in range n, right? So then we have a p1. Now we have a p1, which is the point i here, right? And then you know, and the one thing, uh, uh, one caveat here, or one of the the small a, a case we need to be we need to be careful here is that you know, and uh, there could be points that on the same, I mean, on the same location, right? So even though the test case, the example didn't tell us, but the test case does have some some input with the same point. Let's say we have a one, 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 right? Two, two, and two, two. So for that, I mean, I mean, if if we are calculating the uh, the angles, right, between the same two same point between the same points, we'll get zero. So this one will be zero, right? So but with this one, one, and two, two, the angle will be forty-five. So zero and forty-five, they're not on the same. They're they're not the same angle. So which means will have like an issue if we're following if we're trying to use this <coughs> use our current approach. So so usually when we uh, when we do this kind of like a uh, geometry problem for, with a point, we see we always like uh, create a separate variables to store all the points uh, that have this have the same locations because for all the lo points that have the same locations we we know there they will be always on this on the on the same line. Actually there are on the same point, right? So of course they will be on the same line. So that's why I mean, uh, I'm gonna have create the same variables to 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 track how many points, how many same points uh, we have for this uh, with, for this P1 here, okay? And then since uh, for each of the points, I'm going to uh, use the angle here. We're gonna have like a angles list to store all the angles right comparing with the same points here okay so and now we have a j here we have j in range range n okay if i is not equal to j right of course so we, we want to exclude our current i we, we don't want we want to use the the other point to compare with the, the current i so now we have p2 equals to points points j right and if p1 equals to p2 Okay, and then we just uh, increase the same, right? So if they're the same, we don't need to do the, the calculate the angles, right? So we just uh, increase the same here. Otherwise, right, if they're not the same, then we can calculate the angle. So angles dot append, right? Get angles, right? With the uh, the P one and P two. Okay, so now after this for loop here, right? So after this, this for loop, we'll have like the angles uh, for all the points comparing with the P1 here. Okay, so and we just need to do a, a we can do a counter, right? So we do a counter, we count uh, the angles, right? Since we're going to, we need to get the maximum numbers out of this one here, right? So uh, we have a counter and um, I mean, if we simply do a count, right? Counter dot values, right? I mean, the uh, if if the counter is empty, let's say for example, if there's only one point here, so the max will throw an exception because it says, okay, well, I cannot do a max uh, on the, on the empty list. So, uh, so that's why I'm going to have like a max one here, zero. Okay, and I I just do a check here if if the counter dot values, right? It's not empty. Okay, then. The, I, I, I do this, right? So then I set this one to here. Okay. Cool. So now we have this one. And when we calculate the uh, the, the final answers, right? So we, I'm going to maintain the final answer. Equals answer dot dot what? Uh, sorry, the max dot the answer. And so now we have a max one, right? That's the, uh, the maximum. Uh, Numbers we have from the uh, the angle list, and then we also need to add the same, right? The same is the uh, 
the one we have briefly cut briefly briefly previously calculated right and then the last we also need to increase by one in the end because the uh, we also need to uh, include this p1 itself okay because you know the end the angles here right and the same we're only considering other points but the one is for the the p1 itself because the the p1 itself is also on this line okay so and here we simply return the answer right so that's that so let's try to run the code so the logic should be correct right so but if we if we try to submit this one as you guys can see we have a we have a problem here right so what's so what what's the problem here right so the problem is is the precisions here you know okay so the problem is is like this right so as you guys can see here we have a pretty big numbers uh, uh, as the coordinates of the point here. So as you guys can see, this one, this 5, 0, and 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 2, they are, they're almost, they're almost the same, right? But they're not on the same line here, okay? But if we are calculating 0, 0 uh, against those two points with this uh, mass dot a, uh, a tangent 2 here, you will, you will get 45 degree for both of those two points even though the uh, they're not 45 there may be 44 point something 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 with a lot of uh, decimal places right but since the a tangent i think if i remember correctly it uh, it, it only gives you gives you the the d, the degrees 45 degree dot five zeros so which means this one can only give you like 40 uh five decimal precisions Whereas you guys, as you guys can see here, in order to distinguish those, differentiate those two points, the angles, we have to use a, a higher decimal, a higher precision, right? So how, how can we do that? So which means we cannot do uh, use the, the mass uh, a tangent to here. So the easiest way to fix this is the, uh, we can simply use the, uh, the, the, de the decimal, the decimal, uh, class and but to do that to do that we cannot we, we won't be able using this one and actually for this problem we don't have to get the actual angles all we need to do is we just need to get the all we need to do is we just need to get the, the y difference uh, divided by x difference right so we'll, we'll get a, like a slope or something like this right so it's kind of like a slope or something right because the, the y the y divided by x, right? So this is y, the x. These things can, that's basically, that's the definition of the tangent, right? So we do a y divided by x, that can give us the uh, the, the slope, or you call it a, a radiance, right? So that we can just use this one to give us the uh, another version of the angle, okay? So cool. So, but, you know, if we're doing this uh, without calling this a tangent, we have to uh, manually handle the, the zero, the zero di division, the zero x case, right? Because if we are, if the x difference is zero, we have to give it like a maximum value. Okay, cool. So to do that, we, ju we just need to import uh, from decimal, right? We import everything. That's how we use the decimal here. And so I'm going to remove these things here. And yeah, okay, I will also use the angle here. Mm. Basically, you know, if the x diff diff is zero, right? So we simply re return system dot max size, right? Else, uh. Okay, else we, we simply return this. We can just return the uh, uh, this two, but we just need to convert them into a decimal type so that we can get a, like a higher precision. Okay, yeah, just, just like this. Okay, and let's copy and paste this test class here, test case run. Oh, here, uh, double equal sign here. 
cool as you guys can see so now this one is accepted i think now we can submit it cool so it accepted right so mm, yeah i mean this one is a pretty it's a I think it's pretty straightforward with just a, like a little bit uh you, you just need to be careful about this like the precision stuff other than that it's just like a regular i think it's a kind of like a brutal force way right basically of course the the time complexity for this is like we have an n on the outer loop and then we have an n on, on the inner loop in the inner loop right so uh, and so here we have a, a bunch of n here but we have an n here plus n here is a, some 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 calculation here yeah, so basically the time complexity is O of n square, right? And the space complexity is the, uh, uh, yeah, I think it's o, o of n, right? Because we we, we, we repeatedly using these angles and of course this counter here, right? So so O of n. Cool, I think that's that's pretty much everything I want to I, I want to talk about for this problem. Yeah, I hope you guys in, uh, learn something from this. Yeah, again, so for for those who don't who are not quite sure how to calculate the angles, watch my the other videos uh, about how to calculate the angles given uh, two vectors. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye bye.